Well, folks, this is really getting real. It's getting out of hands. No Diddy. All the scholars are baffled. And right now, we're getting reports that Doc might have been arrested as well. Keemstar comes out, says that Doctor to suspect arrested rumors. I'm not joking. That's what is being said right now. And apparently, we also got this clip that I want to play for you where it says that did Doc, did Doc get arrested? Slasher claims he received a screenshot from the next door app in Doc's neighborhood that said that we just saw Doc in handcuffs oh, shit. what the hell is going on and people are also talking about the fact that doc might also get banned from youtube as well because youtube right now they are just saying that they're not gonna offer streaming deal uh to to dr disrespect because of these ongoing discussions uh, around the circumstances of his twitch ban and, and i'm reading like all your guys comments and a lot of you are also like shocked and everybody's like talking about it and everybody's like hey please say psych right now and, and I, I got this video that i want to play as well and i'm not gonna like sugarcoat it some of you are also defending dog but I i'm assuming that you're not defending his actions you're simply just wanting to see more proof and more stuff come out more clarity on the situation which i i totally understand that i totally understand that because how many times you hear, hear these accusations and it turns out that the person is completely innocent but in this case guys we gotta be real doc himself dr disrespect himself has acknowledged and he has admitted to all these allegations and he has also said he was texting a minor okay inappropriately and sometimes it would go he actually said that in his statement so there is no excuse for this one and we got more stuff now coming out rolling stone talking about it R rod breslu x twitch employees more twitch employees and twitch themselves are coming out and they're saying doc knew about it because this was one of those questions that were uh, i was seeing around a lot and it was a fair question did did doc know about he was messaging a minor or not at the time and spoiler alert he knew he knew oh, shit. Oh, that that's what we're hearing we're gonna get into it like this video forget about doc for a second in general like this video if you think that texting a minor inappropriately no matter who you are is not okay dislike the video if you think that's okay but check this roll uh, from the doctor disrespect situation and this time it's pretty bad it's pretty bad now, I yeah. will say that I am not a fan of Slasher, who's the person that is breaking this story for Rolling Stone. I'm also not a fan of Rolling Stone, but we need to take it um, as it's presented right here. And I'm just going to give you guys the information and you make uh -huh. up your own mind. But from uh -huh. Slasher, Dr. Disrespect knew he was sending those explicit messages yeah, to crazy, man. a minor. Holy Former Twitch employee says he indicated that it was no problem and continued on. There was no confusion. That is so yeah, hard bro, to believe. That is crazy. That is, I, and, and, and yeah, like it's coming from Rod Breslow. Keep in mind, he claimed to have known what happened to Doc four years ago, and he kept shut on it, kept, kept quiet on the matter. And recently, when all of this came out, it came out of nowhere, bro. It feels like that, just like how we heard about that, yo, solar eclipse gonna happen. Everybody was excited, yo, solar eclipse, solar eclipse, right? Full solar eclipse, full solar eclipse. Everybody was like, oh, what, what, what? I gotta go see, right? And, 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 and that situation came out of nowhere. It feels like this also feels like that it came out of nowhere too and it's absolutely baffling at this point in time there's this just still opens up so many more questions yeah so many more questions why did twitch not make this more widely known why has twitch set on this for years why were these esports reporters sitting on this for years and i want to yeah. be clear if this is in fact true I am not shifting the blame away from yeah, Dr. Yeah, yeah. Disrespect. Yeah, you, I'm saying that there's a lot of people to question in this situation. I, absolutely, right? And why did it take like seven, eight years? Like what are we talking? Yeah, seven years. Because it, those of you that are still unaware, uh, you do not know this happened all the way back in 2017. He got then banned for this. That's what it's being reported. This is not my opinion. Uh, uh, yeah, like they're saying that 2020, he got banned because of this. And this is now all breaking just now in 2024 we also got nick Merck's response that will play for you and they are saying that doc got uh you know he they saw in did saw doc in handcuffs and he's getting arrested i'm gonna play for you i i don't think it's real that's my opinion but they're saying he is uh we'll get to that 
hurting right now, and I don't think that they should get off the hook at all. There is a lot of problems with this entire story, and Slasher is someone that apparently knew about all of this yeah. and didn't say anything. Twitch apparently knew about this and said nothing. Yesterday, I showed a video of the Twitch CEO when he was asked about yeah. Dr. Disrespect, and he claimed it was an alien invasion and made a joke of it. How in the hell? Listen, man, like, I, I do believe in them aliens and whatnot, but like... <laughs> Come on, what are we talking? And that's real context. Apparently, the actual CEO of Twitch was asked the question a, a, a while ago, right? But, you know, he was asked after he Dr. Disrespect was banned, so clearly he knew the reason. But he just said that, no, it was the alien invasion. You know, the aliens are coming out, the green men are coming out, and gonna F you in the ass or whatnot. He was actually joking around that stuff. And, and now we're finding out that, bruh, like the real reasons and the reasons are coming out and it's like what what the actual hell but uh, and this story is bigger than that of area 51 this story has been bigger than that of uh, the question of are we alone in the universe or not and guys i have a second channel this is where i cover conspiracies ufo stuff paranormal stuff every single day definitely subscribe Bruh. on that too all right let's get back to it is this even real life there's so much bullshit to this story that i can't even wrap my head around it yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's yeah. so many people that should be thrown under the bus over this situation. This is insane. I I can't believe that this is going on. I really can't. As a matter of fact, mm. let let me play what the uh -oh. Twitch uh -oh. uh, CEO said uh -oh. the other day. Let's know after all these years. Why was Dr. Disrespect baby? Ah! <laughs> wow, I've never had that one. That, whoa! Well... Now that I'm on Miz's channel, let me tell you what really happened, okay? So, um, there was an alien invasion, okay? Many people did not know about the alien invasion, okay? And um, uh, <laughs> the aliens actually... Um, um, you, you, my guy's looking dead ass like this. My, my guy's, yeah, but, but this is insane. Like, you're hearing the real Twitch CEO and yeah, right, and a lot of you that are defending Doc, you cannot defend the actions. Guys, listen, it's beyond we need proof, okay? Doc admitted there's a difference between when it was rumors and yes, I was the first guy and I'll still stick to my guns here. I'll still say that yes, before Doc admitted, it was absolutely imperative that we get evidence on it we get proof on it i'm 100 percent with you if you have if you have seen those videos past videos i was saying hey we need proof yeah like holy crap like this is insane right like whether you like doc whether you hate doc whether you don't watch him or you don't like him or dislike him or you know what i mean right like as a human like come on dog like we're talking about some real crap here that can ruin his reputation and it it has but but he also admitted and now more stuff is coming out and, and you also got twitch you, you also it, twitch is not sane in this one you got to blame twitch as well equally maybe a little bit more not defending doc here but the reason being is that this happened seven years ago and you banned him three years after and now four years later i'm talking 2020 uh, crazy right 2017 he does it 2020 he gets banned 2024 all of this comes out a and it's it's yeah it's clear that twitch knew all all about it maybe they didn't want it to talk about it because uh it would look bad on them Maybe, maybe it's that they were gonna get sued, which they ultimately did get sued, and Doc won the lawsuit, right? Yeah, what are we what are we talking about? And the the reason that is being provided is that Twitch was not allowed, or, or for any matter, right? Like the the bigger companies, they're not allowed to like spy on you, but they they spy on you, right? Facebook, all the all the social medias, they spy on you, okay? Like whatever you put online, whatever you post in a message. It's not private, okay? It is not private, and uh, and apparently Doc has admitted he was texting a minor inappropriately. And there was also a Twitch email leak. By the way, it was a leak. It, it was a rumor. It's not true. People are also saying that it, it was a 17-year-old. Here's the thing, though. We do not know the age of the minor, okay? Could have been, maybe, I don't know, okay? I wanted to point that out because a lot of people are also saying that it was a 17-year-old. Oh, that's not a minor. That's 17-year-old. Officially, or I should say legally, that's a minor. Yeah, but people are using that as a point. Okay, for, for a second, let's just believe that, right? It was 17-year-old. Man, we're talking about Doc. He was like 35 years old with a pregnant wife around that time. So morally, it's not okay, but... 
listen, we're... Yeah, like, I'm not a judge here. So he does that in his private life, yeah, whatever, right? Does that. But but again, though, like, it's a, it's a rumor. We do not know the actual age of, of the victim. They say it's 17 years old, but but that's a leak. That's a, that's a rumor. That's a rumor. Possess Dr. Disrespect. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and um, uh, it actually took over the globe using Twitch. With the Shungite. Yes, yes, okay. And so um, the only way we could save civilization, oh. okay, was, um, uh, was to take the action we did. Okay, so it was to save civilization. Let's know after all the damn. Okay, I, I guess he was talking metaphorically there. I, I think I think he was talking metaphorically. These years, I'm supposed to believe that Twitch was aware of this for all of these years and never said anything. The Twitch CEO thought it was a big joke, but now, now suddenly, because a former Twitch employee, I gotta talk about this too. says something that blows up on social media. Now suddenly, it's okay. Now we can talk about it. A yeah. lot of questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. And again, it really just comes down to if this is proven, and I I really do not have a lot of faith in Doc at this point in time. Yeah. Especially after his tweet. Statement as well, yep. Whew. But we need to find out why Twitch was so silent about this. I think that's a valid question. Oh, it is. Why it were is. the esports yeah. reporters that were aware of this, whoever they are, why were they silent? Yep. Why did why were former Twitch employees floating the idea of come to my concert and I'll tell you why Doc was banned? Mm. Mm. This is not a joke. This is serious. So I don't know. That's the latest right now. This yeah, people people that claim that they knew about the reason and they stayed silent and they the, uh, and for example, the, the the this has started like a week ago, a week ago, a week ago. This has started a week ago with the with the guy that was uh, also trying to sell his concert tickets by saying that hey, hey, come to my concert and I'll you know once enough tickets are sold, I'll tell you the truth uh, and I'll tell you what happened. Yeah, that's equally shitty, dog. That is equally shitty. If it was like okay for a meme, if it was nothing, nothing burger, it was if it was a nothing burger, if it wasn't too serious, okay, yeah, makes sense though. Like you know, you're joking around, but when it's like this crap, yeah, I mean, come on, no doubt, come on, no dog. This is a wild freaking story. Um, Vera Dark did tweet this out, and this is kind of a screen cap from the article. Um, Let's see. Uh, indefensible, disgusting behavior across the board. He knew uh, they were a minor and indicated it wasn't a problem and continued on. This was the the, the, the quote indicated it wasn't a problem and continued on. That that's the the quote that we're hearing. That that's what Doc said. That when he was told about, hey, it's a minor, Doctor Disrespect, he could have like pumped the brakes like and stopped. But he said that oh, it wasn't a problem. That that's what we're hearing now from rod and here's the thing I'll, I'll say this right if doc is innocent in this one which he's not he, according to his own statement and his own words and his own tweets but but maybe there are degrees to it as well right what if this part that we're hearing is not true maybe he didn't know uh, about the fact that it was not a minor maybe doc never said it wasn't a problem when he was told it's a minor doc <laughs> it's a minor dog you stop it bruh you know if, if this is fake, then Doc gotta sue him. Yeah, Doc really gotta sue him. If he doesn't, people gonna believe this. And rightfully, because he admitted to the allegations. And right now, it's bigger than having having no proof or having proof. It's like, he admits to it. The last question that was truly on my mind. He thought he was untouchable and could get away with anything, but there's no other low this guy could reach. It says, I recall that Dr. Disrespect was made aware by the individual that they were underage during the conversation, after which he indicated that it was this was no problem and continued on. The former employee yeah. says, there was no confusion. Messages sent after this was acknowledged were no less graphic and sexually uh, explicit nature than before damn and i think more than um oh, the categories categorization okay. <laughs> pump the brakes right but now here's the thing though in if i'm not mistaken doc's statement was like yeah i was messaging a minor and uh, it was inappropriate yeah that what he said but he also did say no images were shared so what do you mean that uh, were no less graphic and in because when you say no less graphic, uh, in my mind, I'm thinking like pictures were, were sent, right? Or something like that. Maybe, but the, the wording uh, no less graphic, I guess, could be used for 
for just words as well that were, I guess, uh, sexual in nature and explicit in nature, yeah, I guess it could be used. But when somebody uses that, like, yeah, I'm automatically assuming that. Okay, so my bad on this part. But but you see what I mean, right? So but but here's the thing: the doc did it, admit it, but he he also but he also did say that uh, no images were, were were sent. That's what Doc said. So I wanted to point that out too. Action of leaning too much into the direction of being inappropriate might indicate. The ex Twitch employee has also provided Rolling Stone a more detailed account of internal conversations Holy. at Twitch following the report of Beam's uh, oh, shit, messages oh, and subsequent ban. They say the details of Beam's case are coming out because of Connor's. Ex so, yeah, people are also saying that, hey, we need to see the chat logs. I guess uh, that's a fair request. We talked about it too. And uh, yeah, with the chat logs, it's gonna make it yeah i guess uh, people are gonna be able to judge that and uh maybe the messages were not that bad in comparison to what the news is saying not saying that messaging a minor is inappropriate absolutely there's no defense for this guys like absolutely no matter who is this uh who, who no matter who does this okay there is no defense for this but 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 maybe if we see the messages it's not that bad and when I say not that bad, what if it's just like him, you cannot, again, you cannot defend him, but what I mean is that, because the way it seems like is that he wanted to meet uh, with a minor, right, later on, and Twitch uh, just uh, pumped, went inside and basically they said that, nah, bro, dog, you gotta stop. So we need to see whether it was just a meme talk or whether he want, he was for real, for real. Y you feel what I'm saying? Right, like we, we we need to know, and apparently Keemstar is reporting that Doc uh, Slasher says he claims that he received a screenshot from Next Door app. Okay, play this, and then I want to play you the Nick response as well. Roll it. Explode. Oh my bad. Uh, where is that? Yeah, here. I did get a DM about an hour ago from someone who lives in Encinitas, okay. um, near Ranch uh, near Rancho uh, Santa Fe. That is the area that Dr. Speck lives in. Mm -hmm. And he sent me a screenshot from the next from his next door, which is in that area. And there is a comment. This was from 11 a.m. this morning. So this is before like, my article came out. Um, there is a comment that says, we just saw Dr. Disrespect in handcuffs. Bruh. He lives right there. Uh, OK, I don't believe this, first of all, but that's my opinion. Maybe he really was. And if he really was, I feel like that by now, it would be all over the news though you know what i mean it would be all over the news because for crying out loud like this story has been bigger than that of if we are alone in the universe or not like come on now man second channel by the way you guys for this type of content but yeah right like i don't i don't believe that personally what are your thoughts on it? Wait for assuming it? it has something to do with the accusations okay i cannot confirm or verify anything but it, this go. is co coming from someone who is in that next door and this okay, is from, bro. Okay. This is from. Yo, imagine like <laughs> you're living and your neighbor have seen all of this. This is insane. I don't believe that, but check this out. So Roll now issued his lengthier statement and response to the ongoing Dr. Disrespect situation and allegations. I say ongoing because it seems day by day that more things keep happening and more things keep coming out, as well as Nick, who pretty much took to stream and talked about this for a long amount of time by starting off by saying that uh, the people were almost mad at him as if he was the one who did what Doc did. Fucking nuts, man. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. look. I don't want to be all smiley up here in front of y'all too much, man, off the rip. I mean, look, I, what do you want me to say, man? What, what, what does anybody want from me? I don't get it. What do you want me to do? You want me to beat the shit out of myself? Like I'm Jim Carrey and liar liar or something? And I'm just fucking smacking my head against the toilet? I don't know what you want. You know, I didn't fucking do it. Yeah. <laughs> I, you're... yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people also blame Nick and Tim as well. Now, listen here, guys. Like, you cannot blame somebody else for another man's action, though. Come on now, man. Like, that, that's not how it works. Okay? Unless they did it as well, right? But, like, y you cannot blame Nick or Tim for the actions of dog though you take a look at twitter you think i did this shit fuck take me away man handcuffs people are telling me i'm a pedophile mods overtime fund yeah of course they're gonna need it yeah hey mods fucking good good luck brothers and sisters you, you go you, you gonna need jesus today man good luck but it was on your ass yeah bro they're always on dick man they're always on dick you know and i mean granted i might deserve a little bit of it because i understand that there's this proverbial school board going on right we're like oh my god his boy you know 
score one for us. It's like, okay, yeah, okay, I get it. And it didn't take long for this to become also more about the trans stuff. If you guys have not been following Nick Merckx, has been hot and heavy in the controversial stuff with his his comments made about trans people or LGBTQ. I'm not going to dive into that, but he quickly stated that he wasn't sure people were more upset at him for his trans controversy or Doc and all of this ongoing stuff. In my opinion, uh, the whole uh, world. What he's talking, what he's talking about is that recently, like he was talking. You know, Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast recently, uh, not recently. It's been a minute. Like brother became a sister. You know, so he was talking about that, right? Yeah. And, and apparently, like the video for two genders, by the way, guys, uh, dislike for 5,000 genders. Bruh. So he recently came out and talked about it, that it's not okay. That's what Nick Merck said. And, and Mr. Beast also jumped in and responded. So I believe, yeah, he's getting a lot of that hate because Mr. Beast also responded to him. And uh, because of that too, not necessarily just because of Doc. So I, I think it's a little bit of both, but probably more about this uh, stuff that he talked about, about, about Chris Tyson, brother that became a sister. At least it seems like now knows about Doc's ongoing stuff. It seems like this is much, much worse with a lot more backlash. Maybe that's just me, but Doc is currently losing everything because of what he did. It's weird, man. Like, I almost, like, after looking at it all, I can't really put my finger on it, you know? Like, I'm not, like, 100%, but I feel like, like, my feeling. Nick, I stand W. I can't tell if people are more the boys upset. Didn't back the internet's mindset. Make my point, Noah. The internet goes guilty until proven. Let me make my point real quick. Um, I can't tell if people are more upset with me because of my comments against transgender people and shit, right? Probably, or if people probably. are more upset... Like about the doc thing, I, I, I can't really tell. Like I'm, I'm looking at it all. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I, I hear you, I hear you. Uh, uh, yeah, his, uh, in, I guess uh, he, see, he sees his interaction, so he probably knows better. But seeing like the response that Mr. Beast gave, uh, yeah, Mr. Beast is the biggest YouTuber, YouTuber out there, and uh, yeah, his tweet blew up right when he responded to it. So I'm assuming it's probably due to that. But uh, check this out makes me sick reading it when he got banned there was countless rumors around why it happened one of the biggest ones was around a contract dispute with trying to leverage another platform against twitch then it went to court and we all knew there was a settlement i'm sick and disgusted by what he did and honestly in shock but people sharing his gaming group had to have known is a ridiculous claim but nick continues on and he yeah so basically he's saying that bro like you cannot blame nick or uh, tim or anybody that played with dog like yeah i mean listen man you played with played games with the guy not necessarily played with his with his bbc or bwc or lbc right like you're not sleeping with the guy right like come on no man you you cannot blame other people for other people different people's actions right like it, it's like saying like, what, what are we doing here, man? What He's we pretty doing? open and honest, as, as per usual, uh, as he says that Doc was not the best guy. Like, he had done some pretty crazy stuff, including Whoa. this. Kind of fucking weird. I feel like they almost don't even care about what's going on with, with the situation, and they're just kind of, like, using it as, like, ammo or something. Like, okay, cool, man. You know, like, what? Like, imagine not giving a shit about what actually happened and, like, trying to use it for, like, some little fucking point to make. Like, okay, bro. Yeah. Got it, yeah, got yeah. it. Cool, great, great. Yeah, I mean, look. And then the, the, the truth in this all is that, bro, like, people want me to just fucking destroy the guy up and down. I mean, he was a friend. He, he was a friend. I, 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 know, I don't know what people want from me. The guy was a friend, okay? He wasn't my best friend. People were going around Damn. like, oh, he's your best buddy. Damn, like he said was. He said was. Oh, man. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Yeah, he said he was. Understandable after these, those actions, but holy. Hey, you guys gamed every day. No, the fuck we didn't, you know? I mean, look, I will admit that he was my friend. And I have yeah, one. Chad is like was. Keyword was. Holy crap. Did you talk him in person? <laughs> Damn, homie. Damn, man. A lot of respect for the guy. You know, I didn't think he was the best guy in the world, right? I mean, the guy dude cheated on his wife. I mean, he said he was sorry. People can make mistakes, you know, but there's certain things that you do. Uh, there's, certain, there's, there's certain things that you don't do. And I mean, look, he, he fucking guy does a lot of crazy ass shit, man. I mean, this is crazy. Okay? So, what do you want from me? What do you want out of me, man? I mean, I said what he did is absolutely unacceptable. Anybody with a brain... And, and guys, check out this video on the screen because apparently Moist Critical also responded. Penguin Z, Charlie... I'm not sure if you guys were able to see it or not like some more stuff came out check this out And uh, if you already seen it then check out the video on the left We had some good news about PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 3. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see it or not check it out